in a comfortable seat with your legs crossed. If your hips feel tight, you can sit on a block or a blanket. Elevating your seat will allow your body to soften and open and your knees to be more leveled with your hips. Take your hands to your inner thighs and turn them in and back, lifting the flesh of your sit bones up and behind. You will feel your lower back opening and it will help you to find more length in your spine. We always work with opposing energies. We root down to rise. So as you feel your sit bones rooting down into the earth, lengthen your spine and feel your upper body floating up and away from your pelvis. Lift the shoulders up and lengthen your side body. Now take them back, shoulder blades towards each other and let them melt down on your back. You will feel a slight lift in your chest without popping the ribs forward. So keep your back body full and the navel drawing in towards the spine. Keep your eyes closed, soften your face, the space between your eyebrows, the jaw. Lift the corners of your mouth into a sweet smile. Notice how it has an effect on your whole body. It starts to soften you from the inside out without losing the feeling of strength and connection. For the next few moments, bring all your awareness into your body and to your breath. Enjoy your natural breath. Do not try to change or manipulate it. Welcome it as it is. It is like a dance or like the waves of the ocean, calming and going softly, creating nourishment and opening in your body every time. With every inhale, feel the expansion and opening. With every exhale, feel the contraction drawing into your core. Keep breathing. Take your hands together in front of your heart and silently chant the universal sound OM three times. This is a beautiful way to center yourself before starting your asana practice. Slowly open your eyes, release your arms and then reach your arms over your head. Rooting down through your sit bones and then lengthening up through the sides of your body. Keep your neck completely relaxed, your face soft. your hands, bring your hands in front of you, switch the way you interlace your hands, reach them forward, shoulders back into the socket, lift your arms over your head again. Remember to keep your back body full, root down to rise up, side body nice and long, release your neck. Working with two opposing energies, feel the sit bones rooting down, rise up to the crown of your head, spine is nice and long soft breath. Inhale, reach up, exhale, release your hands behind your back, interlacing your hands, lift your heart, shoulder blades together, looking up, and then gently draw your shoulders back towards each other. Feel the opening in your chest. Breathe into your chest. Then release, reach your arms all the way back up. As you exhale with a long back, gently fold forward. Keep reaching your sit bones down into the floor as you walk your hands forward and reach through your fingertips. Breathing into your back. Imagine your breath going between all the vertebras on your back, just opening, creating space. And then slowly release, walk your hands all the way back and then come onto your hands and knees. Bring your knees together, sit back on your heels, keep your toes tucked, spread your toes. And sit nice and tall. This can be very intense. Bring your left arm up into the sky. And then 
grab your elbow with your right hand, draw the belly in and up, find the length, try to breathe into your toes, lean the head back into your arm, stay here. Feel the stretch in your upper arm as you keep breathing. With your next breath, release, shake out your hands, come onto your hands and knees, release the toes, wiggle the toes, and then come back for the second side. Again, spread your toes, sit back on your heels, your right arm up into the sky, leaning back. Keep the chest lifted, draw the belly in. And make sure you're not pushing your ribs forward. Find the length in your side body. Face is soft. Keep breathing into your toes. And then release. Bring your hands to the floor, shake out your hands. Come onto your hands and knees, wiggle your toes. And then come onto all fours for cat cow pose. Knees underneath your hips, shoulders above your wrists. And then come back into your first child pose. Open your legs wide. Rest your belly between your thighs. This is your resting pose. You can come here anytime. Walk your hands all the way forward. We're doing a chest opener. Let your heart melt. You can either bring your chin or your nose to the floor. Keep your arms lifted. Breathe into your heart. With every breath, the heart drops a little closer to the floor. And then gently move your hands back. Coming into cat-cow, hips over your knees, shoulders over your wrists. As you inhale, drop your belly, arch your back looking up. As you exhale, push into the floor, draw the belly in and round your spine. And again, inhaling, reach your sit bones back, lifting up. As you exhale, round the spine, breathe into the back body. As you inhale again, arching. As you exhale, round. Now from here, lift all the way up and back into downward facing dog. Take some moments here, keep your knees bent, reach your belly towards your thighs, stretch your body nice and long, spread the fingers, and then reach your thighs back, straighten your legs. Inhale your right leg all the way up into the sky, reach your left heel down to the floor, open the side, you can bend the knee. Good. Keep pressing into your hands, Breathe and release. Step your right foot all the way forward. Come onto the fingertips, lift your heart, square your hips, right hip moves back, left hip moves forward. You look over your right shoulder, feel the stretch in your left side. Inhale, come forward. Exhale, step your right foot back. Inhale, forward into plank pose. Hold here, draw the belly in. Weaving the legs towards each other, reach back through the heels. Feel your belly working. Lift up and back, downward dog. Inhale your left leg up into the sky. Open the side, you can bend the knee. Good. Keep pressing into your hands. And then look towards your hands, step your left foot forward. Square your hips, come onto the fingertips for more length. And then look over your left shoulder towards your right here. Feel the stretch. On your next inhale, step your right foot forward. Lengthen onto your fingertips as you exhale, fold. And shake it out. Keep your knees slightly bent. Shake out your arms. Shake out your head. Yes and no. 
and then drawing the belly in. Hands to your waist, inhale, come all the way up to stand. Take your hands into prayer in front of your heart. Standing nice and tall for your feet rooting down to Dasana. Surya Namaskar A. Inhale, reach your arms over your head, standing nice and tall. Exhale with a long back, fold forward and down, Uttanasana. Inhale, lengthen. Exhale, walk, step or jump back. Come forward into plank pose. Exhale, lower down, Chaturanga. Inhale, upward facing dog. Exhale, roll over your toes, back into down dog. Breathe. Keep pressing your palms into the floor, spread the fingers wide, keep your hips lifted, strong legs. Bend your knees, look towards your hands, step or walk forward. Lifting the heart as you exhale, draw the belly in and forward. Press into your feet, inhale, reach your arms over your head, standing nice and tall. Exhale, hands to your heart. Inhale, float your arms up, all the way up, standing tall. Exhale, fold forward and down, Uttanasana. Inhale, lengthen, lift your heart. Exhale, step, walk or jump back. Inhale forward, exhale, lower down, Chaturanga. Inhaling up dog, exhaling back, downward facing dog. Breathe. Spread the fingers wide, reach your inner thighs back. Face is soft. Bend your knees, look towards your hands, walk, step or jump forward. Exhale, fold deeply. Inhale, float your arms over your head, standing tall. Exhale, hands to your heart. Inhale, reach your arms over your head. Exhale, nice long back, fold forward and down, Uttanasana. Inhale, lengthen. Exhale, walk, step or jump back. Moving forward as you exhale, lower down, use your legs, strong legs. Take your hands out to the side, underneath your elbows, fingertips pointing into the floor. Lengthen your tailbone. As you inhale, lift all the way up with the upper body. Keep pressing into the fingertips, draw the shoulders back, heart reaches forward. Keep pressing your toenails into the floor. Beautiful, exhale, release. Place your hands next to your chest, push back, downward facing dog. Face is soft. Remind yourself of your breath. And then step or walk forward. Inhale, lengthening as you exhale, fold deeply. Press into the feet, float your arms all the way up, standing tall. Exhale, hands in Namaste. Inhale, reach your arms up. Move with your breath. Exhale, fold forward and down, Uttanasana. Inhale, lengthen, exhale, step your right foot back. And then ground your feet. Take your right hand to the floor, bring your left arm back into the socket and then open your heart up towards the sky for a nice easy twist. Breathe here, lean your head back. Keep reaching through the right heel. Exhale, left hand to the floor, step your left foot back, your right foot forward. Take your left fingertips to the floor and then reach your right arm all the way up into the sky. Keep the shoulder in the socket. Open your heart, keep reaching through the back leg. Front knees over the ankle. Very nice, exhale, release your right hand. Now step your right foot back. Inhale forward into plank pose as you exhale, lower down. Inhaling forward and up, heart open. Exhale, back downward facing dog. Breathe here. Now bend your knees, step or walk forward. Open your feet about hip distance, grab your big toes with 
your first two fingers, length and lift up, and then draw the shoulder blades together, bend your elbows and go for a nice deep forward fold, shake out your head. Keep drawing the shoulder blades together, keep bending the elbows, go deeper with every breath. Beautiful. Here the stretch in your legs as you go deep. And release your toes, inhale, hands onto your waist, push into your feet, come all the way up to stand. Bring your feet back together. Inhale, reach your arms over your head as you exhale, fold forward and down. Now bend your knees, stick your butt out behind, bring your arms all the way in front of you, draw the shoulders back, tuck your tailbone and lift your arms into Utkatasana, chair pose. Stay here, keep drawing the belly in, keep reaching your thighs back. Hands to your heart, exhale, twist to the right, left elbow outside of your right knee. Keep pressing your palms so strong together that you can open your chest. Lift your right shoulder up and back. Beautiful. Keep squeezing your knees together. And release. Inhale, arms up. As you exhale, straighten your legs and fold. On your next inhale, bend your knees, coming back into Utkatasana, chair pose. Hands to your heart as you exhale, twist to the left. Right elbow pushes into your left knee. Draw the shoulders back. Open your chest. Let the twist come from your belly. And then release. Inhale, lengthen. Exhale, fold. Inhale, lengthen, exhale, step your right foot back. Bring your arms up into warrior two. Make sure your front knee is over your ankle, let the shoulders melt down. Legs super strong. Lift the belly in and up. And then interlace your hands behind your back as you exhale, gently fold forward. Lift your arms over your head. Drop your front thigh a little bit more. Keep reaching down into the right heel. Root down. Beautiful. Press into the feet. Square your hips. Step your left foot back. Come forward and then lower down, Chaturanga. Inhale, lengthen. Exhale, back down dog. Step your right foot forward between your hands, left heel down, float your arms up into warrior two. Let the shoulders melt, front knee is over your ankle, open your legs wide. Let the shoulders melt down. Interlace your hands behind your back, shoulder blades together, lift your heart, inhale as you exhale, fold deeply. Again, keep pressing into your left heel and lengthen. Look forward in front of your right toes, find the length and breathe. Drop your right hip a little bit more. Inhale, release your hands, step your right foot back. Come forward into plank pose, lower down. Inhaling, upward facing dog, exhale, press into your hands, back into downward dog. Bend your knees, step, walk or jump forward. Keeping your knees bent, coming back into chair pose, keep the shoulders back into the socket, lift your arms a little bit higher. Scoop the belly and then come up to stand to dasana. Inhale, reach your arms all the way up. Exhale, fold forward and down, uttanasana. Inhale, lengthen. Exhale, step your right foot back. Reach your arms up into Virabhadrasana 1, warrior 1. Square your hips. Beautiful. Let the shoulders melt down. Keep your heart open. Front knees over the anchor. And then open into warrior 2. Bring your left arm all the way up and back, coming into Proud Warrior. Your legs stay absolutely the same. Drop your left thigh even more. Exhale, left hand inside your left foot.
foot. Bring your right arm all the way up and back. Draw the shoulder back into the socket. Open your heart, lean back. Create a resistance with your arm against your knee to open the heart. If you like to go for the bind, you can take your right arm behind onto your thigh. Maybe even take your left arm underneath your thigh and come into the bind version. But this is optional. Otherwise, just stay here with your right arm up into the sky. And then straighten your leg and come into Trikonasana, Triangle Pose. Maybe your hand will reach the floor behind. It's not really that important. Otherwise, take your hand just to your shin. It's more important to really find the length in your upper body. Draw the shoulder back and then maybe extend your arm over your head. So see what is most comfortable for you. Every day is a different day. Come back up as you exhale, warrior two. Coming back into proud warrior with your breath, exhale your hands to the floor, step back, and move through your vinyasa. Step your right foot forward, left heel to the floor. Coming up into warrior one. Keep the front knee over your ankle, shoulders melt down. As you exhale, open warrior two. Releasing into proud warrior, bring your right arm all the way up and back, drop your right thigh even more. And then inhale, come up, exhale your right hand inside your right foot. Roll your arm out against your knee, scoop your right hip under, and then take your left arm up into the sky. Find your variation. Maybe go for the bind or the twist if that's available to you today, or just stay here with your left arm reaching up into the sky. Keep lifting and then straighten your leg and draw the left shoulder up and back and come from here into Trikonasana, Triangle Pose. Front leg slightly out of spiral, scoop your tailbone and lean back into an imaginary wall. Shoulders reaching back into the socket as you extend your arm over your head, but again this is optional. Inhale, come all the way up. Exhale, warrior two. Coming back into proud warrior and then flow through your vinyasa. Step your right foot back. Come forward and lower down. Beautiful. Inhale, keep the heart open. Exhaling back. Downward facing dog. Breathe. Face is soft. here. Come forward into plank pose again. Press into your right hand, roll over onto your right foot, step your left foot behind and then open up into wild thing. Left hand is reaching all the way up and back. Open the heart. It's like you're offering yourself. You keep pressing into your right fingertips strongly. Breathe. Release. Go through the vinyasa or just stay back in downward facing dog prepare for the other side. Come forward into plank pose, press into your left fingertips, step your right foot behind and then reach your right arm up and back, open your heart, wild thing. Keep your hips lifted, breathe. Exhale, release your right hand to the floor, back into down dog and then drop your knees and rest in child's pose. Slowly come up, bring your hands in front of you, tuck your toes, lift back into downward facing dog. From here, step or walk your feet forward into a squat outside of your hips. Good, bring your palms together with your arms, push your knees out to the side. Press strong into your palms, reach the palms down towards the floor, opening the chest. Good.
Now take your right hand out to the side and reach your left arm all the way up into the sky. Look up at your left hand. Lean back, pressing your arm against your knee for opening. Breathe. And release and take your left hand out to the side and bring your right arm all the way up into the sky and look up at your right hand. Breathe, face is soft. And then release your hands. Place your hands in front of you and slowly lift your hips, straighten your legs, walk your feet closer together. And come into another nice deep forward fold. And then come all the way up to stand. Open your legs wide. Now turn your toes out to the side and keep your knees reaching over your toes, your little toes. So don't drop your inner arches. You can lift all the toes and feel your feet rooting down. Bring your left arm underneath your right arm, palms together, and then drop your seat with every breath a little bit more. Keep drawing the shoulders back. Feel your inner thighs working. Lift the toes, press the feet into the floor. Beautiful. Inhale, come up. Release your arms and then switch your arms. Once again, as you exhale, begin to bend your knees. And with every exhale, go a little bit lower. Keep your heart lifted, draw the belly in and up, drop your tailbone down, beautiful. You feel the stretch in your inner thighs, lift the toes, keep your feet engaged. Very nice. And then press into your feet, come up and release. Shake out your arms, turn your toes in. And still keeping your feet wide-legged but toes parallel. Hands onto your waist, inhale, lengthen. As you exhale, fold forward. Don't let your shoulders collapse. Rather keep your shoulder blades moving towards each other. Press strong into your feet. Bring more weight into your toes and breathe. Maybe open your legs wider if you need to. Head reaches towards the floor. Inhale, lengthen, lift your heart. And then bring your arms behind your back, lifting your heart. Side body nice and long. Exhale, fold deeply. Lift your arms over your head. Again, with every breath, go a little bit deeper. And then release. Press into your feet. Come back up on an inhale. Again, hands onto your waist. This time, roll the shoulders back. Lift the heart. Exhale, fold deeply. And again, take your hands to your big toes. Yogi toe lock. Inhale, lengthen. As you exhale, bend your elbows and fold deeply. Keep drawing the shoulder blades towards each other. And then press into your feet. Weight is evenly in your heels and your toes. Release and then walk your hands to the front of the mat. Step your left foot back and move through the vinyasa. Lower down, chaturanga. Exhaling back into downward facing dog. Come forward and then as you exhale, drop your knees. Bring your elbows to the floor. Bring your palms together. We'll do a shoulder opener here. Lift your knees back up, come into dolphin pose. Good. Inhale, come forward, chin over your palms. Exhale, head between your shoulders, with it, between your arms. Inhaling, come forward. Exhale, lift up and back. Feel the stretch in your shoulders. Inhaling forward. Exhale, lift up and back. Beautiful. Come forward again. Exhale, lift. Drop your knees, sit back in child's pose, let it go. And lift your head, walk your hands forward and come to lie on your belly. 
Take your head to the side, rest your arms, shake out your hips. Looking to the other side. And then take your chin to the floor, bend your knees, reach back and grab a hold of your ankles or your toes. Find the length in your back first, lift your butt, and draw the belly in and up, lengthen your tailbone and then lift up into bow pose. The more you reach your feet back, the more you can open your heart. Side body is nice and long and then release. Take your head to the other side and wiggle your hips, shake it out. And then coming into bow pose number two, bend the knees, take a hold of your ankles or feet. Inhale your shoulders all the way up towards your ears, side body nice and long. And then inhale, come all the way up. You can roll a little bit back and forth, massaging your organs. Keep the heart lifted. Exhale, release. Head to the other side, let it go. Shake out your hips. And then prepare for one more time. Bend your knees. Take a hold of your feet or ankles, side body nice and long, lift the shoulders up and back, tuck your tailbone and come up. Breathing into your heart. And then slowly release. Beautiful. Shake it out. Hands to your shoulders and then push back and come into child's pose. Let your belly rest between your thighs. Breathe into your back body. Create space. And then come all the way up to sit. And then fold your mat two times for some padding underneath your knees. We'll do one more back bend, which is Ustrasana camel pose. So tucking your toes, take your hands to your waist. Remember to deepen your groins and then lengthen your tailbone so the back body is nice and open. Keep lifting the belly, lift the shoulders up towards your ears, side body as long as you can. And then lean back, hands onto your heels, lift from your heart. Imagine somebody has a string attached and then if it's comfortable you can let your head go. Keep pressing down into your knees and feel your upper body floating up and away from your pelvis. Beautiful. To come up, press into your knees and then come back into child's pose. Ustrasana number two, camel pose. You can choose to either tuck your toes if it's comfortable, if you feel there's more room, you can bring your feet flat. Remember, side body nice and long, deepen the groins. Lift the belly in and up, lengthen your tailbone. Lift the shoulders all the way up, heart is open, lean back. And then take your hands onto your heels and lift up from your heart, beautiful. Push your thighs forward. And if it's comfortable, you can let your head go back. Breathe into your heart. From here, come back up as you exhale back into child's pose. Let it go. Breathe into your lower back. Okay, slowly roll yourself back up. And then just take your legs out to the side and come to sit, unfold your mat. And then come to lie on your back and hug your knees into your chest. Just rolling a little bit back and forth, massaging your lower back. You can make little circles, switching directions. And then keeping your knees bent, bring your feet 
parallel to the ceiling and grab the outside of your feet so the arms are inside the legs but you hold on to the outside of the feet and then gently reach the knees towards the floor for happy baby pose or as we say in Costa Rica dead buck pose this is a very nice pose to release your lower back and then release your feet to the floor, take the soles of your feet together, let the knees fall out to the side, take your arms out like a T, palms facing up, Supta Baddha Kanasana, so just let everything go, it's a beautiful pose to neutralize your spine and your pelvis, so just breathe into your groins, into your hips, into your belly, and then bring the knees back together, hug your right knee into your chest, straighten your left leg, left foot is flexed, leg is active and then interlace your hands behind your right thigh and push the leg into your hands and your hands into your legs so creating a resistance or opening and release back down switch legs hug your left knee into your chest right foot is flex keep the left knee hugging in and then straighten the leg interlace your hands behind the thigh and push the leg towards you Very good, then release the knee and straighten the leg all the way to the floor. Shake it out, bend both knees into your chest and then let them drop to the right and your head rolls over to the left for a nice easy twist. Breathe into the side. Inhale, bring your knees back up, exhale. Let them go to the other side, head rolls over to the right and again breathing into your side. Inhale your knees back into the middle, hug the knees in and roll yourself all the way up. Come to sit with your legs straight in front of you. Take your right foot inside your left thigh Take the flesh out from underneath, sit nice and tall, inhale, reach your arms up, twist towards your left leg as you exhale, lengthen and fold forward. Maybe take your hand to the outside of your left foot, or maybe your left ankle or shin and find length here as you lean forward from your heart. Go deeper with every breath, drawing the belly in. Inhale, come all the way back up. Really straighten your right leg, shake them out. Left foot inside your right thigh, take the flesh out from underneath. Sitting nice and tall, inhale, reach your arms up. Twist to the right and then exhale, fold and lengthen. You can use your right arm for support. Reach your heart forward, keep drawing the belly in and lengthen with every breath a little bit more. And then inhale, come all the way back up, straighten both legs and shake them out. Again, inner spiral your legs, take the flesh out from underneath. Sit on a block if your back is round, otherwise just walk your hands forward and come into Paschimottanasana seated forward bend and the idea here is to keep the back nice and long and go deeper with every breath draw the shoulders back so the heart is leading and we're not rounding and bringing the head to the knee so rather keep looking towards your toes as you lean forward down into your sit bones and release. Coming back up to sit, bring your legs back together and cross-legged seat, maybe come into half lotus and just take a moment here resting your hands, find the length in your body, close your eyes, connect to your breathing, feel the heart lifted. Just nice steady breath. And 
and take your arms behind your back take a hold of your wrist as you exhale fold forward it's kind of like bowing to yourself as you're finishing your practice breathing into your back and then inhale come up release straighten your legs and come to lie down in Shavasana your legs fall out to the side palms are facing up let everything go and enjoy Shavasana Begin to deepen your breathing. Just feel the changes that you created with your practice. Feel the space, the stillness. And take a moment of gratitude to yourself for coming to practice today.
Wiggle your fingers, wiggle your toes. And stretch your arms over your head. Giving yourself a good long stretch. And then bend your knees. Roll a little bit from side to side. And then come to roll onto your right side. Use your arm as a pillow. Stay here for another breath or two. And then slowly, whenever you're ready, use your hands to bring yourself back up into a comfortable seated position. And then gently bring your hands back together in front of your heart. And then as you exhale, gently bow to yourself to see your practice. Thank you. Namaste.